Welcome everyone to another Foxtech video. This time we have the problem where Safari can't open the web page and you get to this section where you just cannot load any website. Now, there are some reasons for it, of course, so let me just get through it one by one. The very first thing and what happens to me a lot of times is that I just type the wrong URL in. Or, for example, I just tap on a link which is simply wrong, there is a typo in it. If you notice here, it says apple.ckm, it doesn't say apple.com. And because of that, I cannot reach this website because it literally does not exist. There is not a domain .ckm and definitely not apple.ckm. When I go to apple.com, you can see that it just loads it up properly. So the very first option could be simply a wrong link, so the, the problem is on your side. So if that happens, then chances are that you get the wrong link, just find the correct one, or use Google or any other search engine to type that in. Don't try to get to a very specific URL if you don't know the exact one. Anyways, the next option or the next thing which you can do in this very specific situation is to make sure that you have the correct date and a time. Some websites will not allow you to get or open them unless you have the correct time set. So if you go to these settings and tap on the general section, click on the date and time, I would recommend you to use the automatic time selection because I like to keep it that way. I don't have to worry about anything, especially when I'm traveling. It's not a headache. So I just keep on set automatically turn on. If you don't have it turned on, and let's say that you change the time for whatever reason to something else, which probably doesn't make any sense, but if let's say if you do it and then come back to Safari, then it's probably not going to be able to open it up or it applies to some websites, not every single one of them, but it may notice that your certificate is expired or you ha you live in the past or whatever happens. There is going to be a discrepancy between your time and the real time, so always just keep the correct one by sending it to automatically. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Also, in case you have any problem with Safari, the first thing I would recommend you to do is to go to these settings and go to the Safari section and make sure to clear history and website data. This is very useful because you don't really rely on the past. You just clear every single past thing or the cookies. Every single thing is going to be clean and fresh. Everything's going to be reset. So make sure to do that and then try to access the web pages. Chances are that this is the reason why it just cannot load. And also the next option, in case you use it and not every single person uses VPN, but if you do use it, try to disable it for the time that you're trying to get to that website. If you cannot get to it because you have VPN enabled, chances are that there are some geographical limitations going on or something else. You just necessarily don't need a like a middle part in there. You don't really need like a you can see that you get to internet directly, not through a VPN. So you don't really need that middle person there, like the VPN in that case. So just disable it and try it out without it. And also keep in mind at the end that you should have the latest iOS updated because you cannot really update Safari from the App Store. The only way you can update Safari is by updating the entire operating system. So in case you want to get the latest version of Safari, make sure to update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. And at the end of the day, just like all the time with this uh, issue or with these Safari problems, you can always just open up the App Store and download some kind of different third-party web browser. Try to get to the very same website using Google Chrome or some different web browser and it is possible that you will be able to actually get it to work. So yes, this would be my wrap up for this video. These are all the things which I wanted to tell you. Thank you very much for watching and your support. Subscribe down below so you don't miss videos like this one in the future. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.